What up, guys? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Shadow Blade. That's right. I'm back. And guess what? You guys are probably wondering what this live stream is about. It's about a certain little whore named Betty Ann Chapman. You guys are probably wondering, hey, what did this girl do? Well, allow me to explain it to you. Last night, you know, me and her were together since last week, as some of you guys might know. But little did I know, she was playing me and one of my artists, Joker, the entire fucking time. Because get this, today when she came to me and apologized to me after last night, you know what that little bitch had the balls to do? She had the balls to fucking sit there and tell me that I better not tell my artist, who's one of my good friends, about this new guy that she's seen. Otherwise, she would be coming after my ass. She used me. She played me. And you want to know how? She sat there. Said, one minute we're together, next minute we're not. One minute we're together, next minute, oh, she's got this other guy, or, oh, she's with this guy and this guy. That's what this little bitch does. She goes around, person to person, using them and fucking playing them. And the sad thing is, I fell for it. I'll admit, I fucking fell for it. And speaking of which, we got one of our artists in the chat right now. My boy, Raven, the Dark Assassin. What's up, homie? But, as you guys might know, you know, me and her were together since last week. You know, she obviously didn't want me because she was with this other guy, Bobby. She was, And that's where she got the last name Chapman, Bobby Chapman. And if you guys are wondering, I met her through my good friend who is also on Outcast Records, James. But he goes by the name of Crazy Kid. And so yeah, needless to say, this little bitch played all of us. She sits there and claims the family. But does family really do that to family? So you know what, Betty? You wanted to get famous? Here you go. You want to get known? Guess what, bitch? You're getting known. The whole world's gonna know you. Oh, yeah. Because guess what, little bitch? The whole world's gonna know what you did. That's right. I'm not scared of losing you anymore. You better be fearing for your fucking life. And you best be watching your back. Because the real family is gonna come down on you hard. And you know we don't fucking play. You mess with one of us. You mess with all of us. That includes me, my boy Raven, that includes everybody. You don't fuck with a juggalo. You don't fuck with family. And so yeah, this little bitch basically has played me the entire fucking time. Like she sits there and says, oh I love you, give me one more chance and blah 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 blah. Well, you know, I was dumb enough to fall for it a few times because I felt like she deserved a chance to, you know, prove herself. But man, was I wrong. And y'all wonder what I'm drinking on is actually the new Rockstar. Called Rockstar Boom, so shout out to Rockstar for this awesome drink. It's awesome. And if you guys have not tried it yet, definitely pick that shit up. It's good. This one is actually This one's actually an orange flavor. So if you guys like orange stuff, definitely check out Rockstar. Boom, they have different kinds. This one's actually really good. It's like a creamy orange. It's like cream soda mixed with orange. Really good. Mmm. Man, that's good. But, an update on the artist that you guys already know about, like the homie possessed one, I am going to be releasing the songs 
featuring me, him, and our homie Cryptic Wisdom on hooks. Um, as for my boy Alien Ion, he is out of commission right now due to being grounded from, you know, curfew shit. Like, she, he was out past curfew, so he did get grounded. So he will not be able to do anything for a while. He still is on the label, he just won't be able to do anything for a while until he can get his stuff back. Um, I heard some of his new stuff last night. I briefly spoke with him on the phone a little bit. He does have some new stuff written down. He's just not able to record at this point in time. So, shout out to you, Ian. Also known as Alien Ion. Shout out to you, man. Can't wait to get you back going, man. And Raven, shout out to you, my dude. If you guys don't know, Raven, the Dark Assassin, is one of my newest members on Outcast Records. Um, don't worry, man. I am going to get the stuff to you. I've just been dealing with all this shit, so don't worry, buddy. Now that all this shit's getting done and taken care of with this little bitch Betty, I am going to be sending you stuff, homie, so don't worry. But for all you loves and likes out there that do not know, Betty Ann Chapman is a little hoe. And how is she a hoe, you say? Well, allow me to explain it to you. She goes around from guys like Bobby Chapman to me to my boy, motherfucking Joker. And to all these other people trying to get pity. And you want to know what the sad part about all this shit is? Her family actually liked me. You know, her mom liked me, her dad liked me, her little brother Kate liked me, who's 14, he's a really cool kid, so shout out to you, Kate, you rock dog. Um, but yeah, basically her entire family, you know, really enjoyed me, liked me, stuff like that. But this little bitch basically tore me in half. Like, she literally destroyed me, had me in tears. From last night till just a little bit ago. From about 8, 9 o'clock last night up till just now, about a half hour ago. When I spoke to my really good friend Betty, or Becky. My bad, Betty. Sorry, I didn't mean to, you know, confuse you with my good friend because obviously you're not a good friend. Obviously you're the, you're a hoe. So, you know, do your thing and go back to the street corners. You know, I didn't call you. You know, but hey. Whenever I got a friend that needs a little bit of head, I'll give you a call. Like, no problem. I'm pretty sure he'd do it for free, too. But, but yo, Raven, man, what I need you to do, I need you to share this around to everybody, man. And if you guys don't know, I am rocking the, you know, the gold, the golden fish chin that I got from a friend of mine. Well, not really a friend, but more of a fan of my YouTube work. So, shout out to you, my dude. I still wear this shit. If you are on Facebook and happen to see it, still rock me, homie. But, shout out to my homie, James Cuzo. A great dude. Really great dude, actually. Um, he's a good kid. He is up and coming. He's actually the one that goes by Crazy Kid. Um, he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, you know, family-wise, so he's getting loose and it's tied up on that. But, back to the little whore of the family. Little Betty Ann Chapman. You think what you're doing is right? Think again. Your own brother, Austin, is ashamed to call you his sister because of what you're fucking doing to him. You're making him look bad. You're making yourself look bad even worse. Worst of all, you know, you're fucking with people and that ain't cool. Hey, thanks, homie. I appreciate it, dog. But you wanted to get known, Betty. Guess what? You're getting known for what you really are. A fake-ass little bitch. You ain't family at all. You're really not. You are not a fan. You're a fake. 
You ain't no juggle at a juggle. You're a jugga ho. Get it right. A jugga ho. More specifically, a ho, a whore, a slut. A person that sleeps around with different fucking people and doesn't give a fuck how they feel afterwards. Yeah, that's right. That's you, Betty. You. That's your job. No, not you guys. You, Betty. You, Betty and Chapman. You're the hoe. Nobody else. You go around sleeping with people. It's bad enough that, you know, you hurt Joker and pissed him off. It's bad enough that you fucking lost Bobby's dumbass. Which, I can't really say I'm blaming about Bobby, though, because he was kind of a dick. And he was kind of in a gang. So, I'll give you that. Don't get me wrong. I will give you that, you know, you did leave Bobby because he is a gang member. I'll give you that much. But, you know, what you did to me is far worse than anybody's ever done to me. You sat right there, promised me in front of my friends and family that you wouldn't hurt me. You sat right there and told me and swore on your hatchet. You swore on your grave, on your life, that you wouldn't do the shit you did. You know, I tried to look out for you. I tried to fucking defend you and help you in any way that I fucking could. And how do you repay the favor? By stabbing me in the fucking back. That's right. You stabbed me in the fucking back. I didn't do shit wrong. You had me crying in tears all last night and today. And guess what? I came to a realization thanks to my friends. I wasn't the one that did anything wrong. That was you. Yeah, I'll admit I may have done a little bit of fucked up mistakes. But guess what? You want to know something? It's people like you who make honest, caring people who honestly don't give a fuck how you look. Who just want to be treated right? You know, it's people like you who make us look bad. Because all you do is you go around looking for fucking attention. You want attention? Well, guess what, little bitch? You got attention. Here I am calling you out. That's right. I'm sick of your fucking mouth, Betty. I'm sick of your fucking lies. I'm not falling for it anymore. And guess what? I got a little something extra for you that not very many know about. You know what? Nah. I don't think I'm going to tell you. I think I'm just going to surprise you. Or should I say it? Hmm. Let me think. Should I tell you? Or shouldn't I tell you? Now nah, what the fuck, it don't matter anyway, it's still gonna get out either way. That's right. You know me. I'm a music artist. So what am I gonna do to you? I'm gonna personalize a fucking rap for you calling your little bitch fake ass out. And if you don't think it's not gonna go social media, try me. Cause one thing you don't do is fuck with my family. Number two mistake for you. Is fucking with my artists, like Joker. You done fucked up on that. Like big time. Let's see who I was watching. Shout out to everybody who's watching, man. So, Betty, I hope you're seeing this. And you want to know what your third mistake was, Betty? Thinking that I didn't have the balls to tell Joker the truth about what you said to me. You want to come after me? Go right a fucking head. Because guess what? You can't fucking touch me. You can try, but you will fail. See, what you don't realize is what you're doing is setting yourself up for failure. 
You're 23 fucking years old. 23, about to be fucking 24 here in December. You know, you need to wise the fuck up, little girl. I'm 26 years old. I got three times the experience on your little bitch ass. You say you know what it's like to be hurt? You don't know shit. What up, Nicholas? Shout out to the homie Nicholas, too, man. If you guys don't know, Nicholas here does sell gemstones and whatnot. He sells gemstones, crystals, all that good stuff. So if you guys are into, like, you know, rocks, gems, gemstones, that type of deal, and crystals and whatnot, hit up my boy Nicholas here. He can hook you up for actually really good prices. I'm even considering once I save up the money to get some myself. What up, Keith? But for those of you that don't know, that are just watching this, you know, Betty Ann Chapman basically used me. But, you know, before I get into that, I should be thanking you, Betty. You want to know why? Because of you, I got three great new artists out of it. So, thanks for the new artists, dude. Freaking love them. They're great. Hey, not a problem, Nick. Oh yeah, I'm doing good, man. I'm just calling out this little bitch-ass hoe, Betty Ann Chapman. And if you guys don't know what she did, she basically played me. You know, get this. I met her through my good friend James, right? James Zulo. Great kid. You know, great artist overall. He's got some good stuff. I've seen a few of his videos on his Facebook. He's been sending me clips a little bit at a time. So, you know, he's got some dope shit. So, you know, I've been working with him here and there to get him up and going once he gets everything on his end personally handled. But, uh, yeah. What she does is she goes around from guy to guy and fucking toys with them. She acts like she loves them and then whenever they do something wrong or she feels they do something wrong that she doesn't like. Like with me, I'll admit I have problems because I've been hurt a lot in the past. I have trust issues. That's not my fault. You know, I am the way I am because of people like her. And, you know, I can't help that. That's not my fault. That shit's implanted in my brain for the rest of my life. And if people wonder why it's hard for me to keep a relationship, it's because of people like Betty. And if you guys don't know, you guys can just go on my friends list, look her up. And in fact, I will post a link in the description. Actually, now you know what? Y'all want to call her ass out just right along with me? Y'all want to send her a message? I'll post the fucking link in the goddamn comments for you guys. Like, I have no problem with that. Which now means all sticker packs that I am going to be creating along with sticker slabs, with custom graffiti sticker slabs, will be up for grabs. So, yeah. So, if you guys want, I'll grab these for you. Hold on. You see all these? You see all those? All those are up for grabs. So, if you guys want one, or if you guys want to custom make you guys one, like, say, like that, or, where is it? There we go. Or even like that. I can do that for you. Or if you guys want a custom graffiti piece, which I will show you one here in just a second, that is up for grabs for logo work. Um, I actually have a couple that I'm going to 
show to you guys. So just in case you guys, you know, want to buy any or if you want me to, you know, just in general create you guys something and then have it sent to you, I can do that. All I need you guys to do, send me your address. And then, you know, like I pay for the stamp and everything and whatnot. And then that artwork gets sent out to you. The only thing that I do ask is when the artwork or whatever it is that you're wanting me to send you, once that gets to your house, all I ask is that you create a video and, you know, give me a shout out in it. I will be posting my links, well, actually my one link to my official YouTube gaming channel and my official Shadowblade music channel for you guys. I know I haven't been keeping on top of links. I do apologize. I've just had a lot going on. So I kind of, you know... Took the brain there for a little bit, but but yeah, definitely shout out to everybody that's watching this video. You know, shout out to everybody that you know has supported me this entire time. It honestly feels good to be back in the underground and doing what I do best and rocking the dark crazy shit. Who you know, man? I'm Shadow Boy. I'm a little bit crazy and a little bit dark. This is what I do. But as for this little bitch, Betty Ann Chapman, you know, it's sad. It really is sad when your own brother, your own flesh and blood, is ashamed of you because of what you're doing. Because let me tell you something, little girl. Yeah, you might be 23 years old, might be an adult, but guess what? Being 23 don't make you an adult. It's how you act that makes you an adult. You know, some people say I might act childish about this by going live with it. But I'm just respecting my family. I'm respecting my underground family. Because they would do the same thing. Yeah, I know y'all would do the same thing for me. I'm doing for you guys right now. Y'all would be letting me know, hey, this is what's up. This is what's going on. And you know, I know a lot of you guys wonder, and some stuff to hear, why not do a live stream about it, and then boom, knock it all out at one time. What up, Ryan? Oh yeah, definitely, dude. I'll definitely PM you, dude. Hell, if you want to, man, I can fucking call your ass. But shout out to my homie Ryan. What up, dog? And if you want to know, Ryan, Betty Ann Chapman, the girl that I've been with for a while now, dude. The one that you see me with in that one picture in my profile picture before I switched it back to my original one. Yeah, her. Betty Ann Chapman. Look her up on my Facebook. She's on my friends list. And so, yeah. But like I said, guys, I do have some new shit coming out. And like I said, if you guys want some custom graffiti slap stickers, I will be ordering, you know, postage stickers here probably within the next, you know, few hours or so. So, like, if you guys want, say, like, a custom art piece and a custom sticker slap or a custom graffiti bomb slap sticker, let me know. I will be doing custom characters of my own design for you guys. And speaking of artwork, let me show you something here for a minute. Alright, you remember the artwork I was telling y'all about a few minutes ago about that clown? This is up for grabs. I did this crazy little fucker last night aboard his shit watching fucking Tattoo Highway and Inked. So if y'all want to see this turn into, if y'all want to see this little badass turn into a fucking sticker bomb, or if you want to, or if you guys want to buy it or have me send it to you, hey, all yours up for grabs. I'll even sign the fucker. Now, art piece number two. This is actually a custom YouTube 
graph tees for my homie and Will Sis Twisted Badass 420 on YouTube. This is her graph tees that I created for her. As you can see, it's not quite done yet, but there you go. So, if any of you guys want any of my artwork, all you got to do is message me. Just message me and say, hey, dude, you know, like, can you order, like, some random sticker packs for me? And, like, can you send me, like, a custom graffiti sticker slap? And, like, some artwork or whatever? And I'm like, yeah, sure, not a problem, dude. All I need is your address and everything like that. And once you send me that, I can send it out to you guys. That's right. You guys are watching this shit right now. What else is there to go off about? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. Clothing line for my music. Or for my music and just clothing art work in general. I am creating a new clothing line. It'll be done through Dizzy Jam. And with each clothing line, with this new clothing line shops, with these three new shops I'm going to be setting up for the three new art pieces, for the three random new art pieces I'm going to be putting out onto these, you get a free custom digitally signed motherfucking digital art piece by me at random you get one free digital art piece and one free wallpaper one will say wallpaper on it or I'll let you guys know which one's the wallpaper and which one's the art piece but it's up to you guys which one you want to use as your wallpaper for your phone or your computer or what have you like me I have a Kindle Fire, so you know I'm able to do pretty much anything. But as for that, speaking of technology and music, Outcast Records website is down for maintenance right now due to the fact I have to update some stuff. For those of you that are on the record label, you guys know exactly what's going on. You guys know I'm having trouble with the site and getting into it. Because my computer is a slow piece of shit. But, also, on that note, you know, I will get you guys up and running. Don't worry, especially you, Raven. I will get you guys going. I just gotta get that shit to fucking work properly. But, along the lines of music. I will be performing live every day on Friends Life. Every day I'll be doing something new and special for you guys. Whether it's something like this. Whether it's an actual cover performance. Whether it's my original stuff. Or whatever it may be. Hell, I could do a fucking harmonica covers for you guys. I have no fucking problem with that. So, I will be performing live on there as much as I possibly can. Hopefully every day, I'm hoping. I'm not, don't count on every day, and maybe every other day. And maybe once a week. You never know. What's up, Brian? What's up, Daryl? What's up, Shane? Alright, Ryan, I definitely will, man. But now that you guys know the situation of what's going on, you know, it's just really sad. It really is, you know, to see someone like Betty throw her fucking life away. Like, good God, she's 23 years old and she's doing shit that nobody should be doing in the first place. But, like... You would think she would have more common sense, you would think. I mean, 
Isn't it obvious that you shouldn't be playing people like that? I mean, seriously? I mean, it's bad enough you fucking crushed and destroyed my ass. But to fuck with my artists like that? No, 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 little girl. I don't play that shit. You don't fuck with my artists and you don't fuck with me like that. You know, I sat right there and told you I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. I sat right there and told you I loved you and that I cared about you. You knew me for several months. You knew how mean you felt about each other and you played me anyways like a fucking fool. You know, I just... I can't believe I fell for your ass. I can't believe I fell for your ass, Betty. So, you want your 15 seconds of fame? You wanted to get your name out there and get known? Well, guess what? Here's your attention, you little attention whore. Because that's exactly what you are. You bounce around from guy to guy, getting attention. And when you don't get the attention you want, or that you feel you deserve or need, you drop that person and you go to the next person. You're like a fucking cancer. You're like a virus that doesn't fucking know when to stop. Well, rest assured, your little bitch ass is going to be dealt with. The family is coming for you, Betty. We are coming for you, and we will not stop until you freaking knock this shit off. For real, like... What's it gonna take to get through to you that you shouldn't be doing this? Like... For real, like, what's it gonna take? How many people is it gonna take for you to hurt to fucking realize Hey, I shouldn't be doing this. What's it going to take for you to realize that enough is enough? You hurt me. And when you hurt me, you hurt my entire family. Oh, that's right. You didn't, you didn't just piss me off. You pissed off a whole lot of motherfuckers that you don't want to see pissed. So guess what, little bitch? Here's your little bit of attention that you feel you deserve. So with that being said, guys, I will get to reading the comments here. All right, Nick, I definitely will, man. But with that being said, y'all, this has been your boy Shadowblade from Outcast Records. And also, I am starting up a whole new family like the Juggalos. Mm, sorry about that. So I'm going to throw But like I said, you know, I am starting up a new family that's going to be the brothers of, it's going to be a brother family of the Juggalos. Me and my homie Crazy Kid are working on that, also known as James Zulo. You can look him up. He's a good kid. A really good kid, actually. He's my age. He's 26, but he's a really great kid. You know, one of my best friends, honestly. He's like my little brother. So, once I get that figured out and how we're going to incorporate that into what's already being done now, I'll let you all know. So, with that being said, guys, this is your boy Shadowblood. I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. What I want you guys to do is I'm keep an eye on the comments after this live stream because of what I want every single one of you guys to do, I want you to share that little bitch Betty's profile around all over Facebook. Let the entire family know what she's doing. Let them know. Let's light this bitch up. Let's show her that you don't fuck with the underground. So let's do this, guys. Let's get it. Let's shut this little bitch down. And don't just do it for me. Do it for all the people that she could potentially hurt. Do it for the family. Do it for the people that she has hurt. So with that being said, y'all, this is your boy Shadowwood.